Yo, this is Alex Donner. Motherfuckers tuning in to Smack Life TV, bitch. Nice rap. What's up, y'all? Here with Alex motherfucking Diamond. CBG shit, Smack Life shit. We in the DMV right now. We out on the Laurel side, 175. It's going down, man. Seven in the motherfucking building. Free to God, rest in peace to Kings, man. Let's get it, let's do it. Let's say, how you start the battle rap, bro? Well, basically I started, um, rest in peace my nigga DJ. You know what I'm saying? My nigga been gone for like, maybe like uh, about 10 years now. And basically, uh, when I started rapping, he kind of coached me into this shit. He battled me, let me know I was good. You know what I'm saying? He smashed me, you know what I'm saying? But he let me know I had talent. And so like, during that process, I started writing, but I never really took it seriously. I was just still running around, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Uh, after he passed or whatever, I mean, I just kind of, just kind of took it more seriously, started to, you know, get out there. You know what I mean? Battle all the niggas from different areas and shit. I gave myself my name because I just thought of it. You know, a lot of MCs give themselves their name. It's, it's not uncommon, you know what I'm saying? Right, but right. in the streets, niggas always call me by my name. I never allowed nobody else call me, you know what I mean? Lex or that, or, or just a, a another name, like, you know what I'm saying? Some some fabricated name or whatever. You know, no disrespect to niggas, but like, you know what I'm saying? My name Alex, so I call myself Alex Diamond because I just want to take it to that level where, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know I'm, I'm known for them rounds. I'm known for that 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 shine. I'm known for that 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 presence. Yeah, you feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So that's that's why I wanted to call myself Alex Diamond. But normally, you feel me? It's just Alex for real. So how you uh, get involved with CBG? Well, CBG for real came across me because um, when I was fucking with my nigga Wiles from out the city, I was fucking with a city lead called Smooth TV. Shout out to Smooth TV. He be doing his thing too. Uh, no, sh no, uh, no slight on him, but you feel me? I had to, I had to take it up a notch. So I holler at Wiles, and I'm like, Yo, Wiles, put me down with, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas that's more, a little bit more elevated. You feel what I'm saying? Um, he did that, and I'm on CBG, and CBG had a split up with uh, All Society Battle League that happened before COVID, and my, a lot of niggas don't know that. But the angle is, you feel me? I was, I wasn't a part of that, so I just came, I got put on with Steve, so I'm, I'm rocking with Steve. They, they giving me a good plate right now, so. You know what I'm saying? We rocking out. Who was your last battle? Uh, my last battle was Kush. Y'all niggas gotta go check that out, man. Y'all niggas gotta go on my uh, my Instagram. That's official underscore Alex no E Diamond Story underscore Story. Go check that out, man. That's my Instagram page. Y'all niggas should already know my Instagram, but uh, uh, what you need to do if you don't have my Instagram is follow Smack Life. Get my Instagram after this interview. And then my battle was posted right there. Who who's some of your influences or where your influence come on? How you break down the bars, write them and all that? I think that's important. Like niggas need to understand like it's, it, this shit ain't easy, man. This shit ain't easy. You gotta do a lot of motherfucking homework. If I get killed, it's only because I, I didn't prepare. You know, and a lot of niggas wanna be like, I got a lot of niggas coming up to me. Like, yo, battle, battle me. Uh, I want to battle you. We can make something work. Listen, if it if your pen ain't on my level or I feel as though it don't make sense, I'm not going to take you. And, I, and I, I want people to know that seriously because it's like I got a lot of people coming up to me asking this, that, and third. But if it don't make sense, then I'm not going to take you. And real MCs know what I'm talking about when I say this shit got to make sense. Real niggas know what I'm talking about. You feel what I'm saying? It's, this shit got to benefit me and benefit you at the same time benefit the culture. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, as far as like, as far as like my dedication to the shit and how I write, it's just I put that time in. You feel what I'm saying? I wake up every day if I have an opponent, I'll be like, look, I got, I got to come up with 20 bars today, and they got to be fire. Now before I sleep, I may not go to sleep till four o'clock in the morning, but I'm still, you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm still, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm still, I still want to make sure that I'm prepared. So that's what it goes. In. You can't beat that. Right. That's one. That's something you can't beat. So I don't give a fuck how nigga, how lame niggas tell you is, or you need to change this, or you need to change that, or you need to switch this bar or make this bar. Just keep doing you for long enough, and keep staying up at night and putting that pain in, and you're gonna you're gonna make it happen. You from Seven? That's a fact. That's a fact. Seven Maryland. All right, I got a good man out there joint Burner. I don't know if you know Burner SMS. But, I know Burner. Right, I know Burner. That's my good man. Me and Burner, we shared blunts before. Yeah. We shared rhymes before. We done chill with the heavy hitters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Burner one of the heavy hitters. I'm shocked. That's He's a heavy hitter. I'm shocked. Look out though. for Burner too. If y'all niggas don't know Burner, 
Y'all niggas need to do y'all homework, man. SMS. Them niggas is definitely turning the fuck up where I'm from. So I, I pattern a lot of my shit after what I grew up with them niggas and, 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 and other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's yeah. other niggas around there too, but you know, shout out to Warren Beatty. That nigga, that nigga big. That nigga done blew up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Reason. That's another that's another nigga that came from yeah, that area. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga big. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many different people that but a lot of niggas that's actually actually from that seven area, a lot of niggas is not rapping because they more they they, they trying to make a way out for themselves and their family. So they not really rapping. So it's not really a strong rap base, but the rap base that niggas has got is very united. So yeah. it's definitely a, a, a good area that niggas wanna check out, man. All right, so how would you how would you explain the seven area? Cause we in lower and shit, so that was sad about. It's basically it. east of where I'm at. Okay. You feel me? I'm down the west way. All right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like towards Baltimore. This like more south. I want to say southeast or right, south. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you was, I guess. I, the best way I could say is if you if you from Philadelphia, where we may be battling that on 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 28th. I may have a battle with a nigga uh, on the 28th. I'm gonna get more into that. But uh, if you're from Philly, it's more like Chester, you know? Or like where we gonna be at Derby. It's more like, you know what I'm saying? Out yeah. there. So if you wanna get like a good picture of what Severn like, you feel what I'm saying? Then you would have to go out like Philly and see like the outskirts of Philly. You uh -huh. feel I me? Mean? It's not much different, but it's like, Pretty much the same shit for real. Niggas be on the same shit. But the good part about it is, I'm in between two major cities. Yeah. I'm, I'm smack in between two. If you look at me on the map, I'm 30 minutes from this direction, 20 minutes from this direction. You know what I'm saying? So it give me a lot of a lift and pull with niggas on DC side or the Baltimore side. And I could have went either way for real, but you know, I just rock with you know who, who's giving me the opportunity. No question. Definitely. Oh yeah, we was talking, you were about to touch on the battle you got coming up. Yeah, the battle that I got coming up is with Granddaddy Perk. I want y'all to pay attention to the date on the flyer if you check my on my page out, right? Uh, Smack Life, you can post this shit up too. I got right? it. You know what I'm saying? But the battle is going to be in Darby, PA, Main Street. You know what I'm saying? Check it the fuck out. If y'all niggas ain't willing to pay $40, don't come. You know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas ain't ready to make noise and go crazy in that bitch, don't come. You feel what I'm saying? They got Holmesy the God, they got Prez Mafia, they got The Saga, they got Dre Dennis and Clean Paper on the main card. You feel what I'm saying? They got me, Granddaddy Perm, my man Swank, Wiles. Prez Mafia actually battling twice on that card, so shout out to him. It's going down, it's going down, man. It's going down. Yeah. Uh, November 28th, it's coming up very soon, this weekend. Do you do you make like songs or shit as well, or you just stick My to the battle? My songs more or less like focus towards like I wouldn't say like cloud. I would call it cloud music. Uh, you know what I mean? I be getting high. Okay. So right. I, I get high. That I smack like bitches. music. You know what I'm saying? I get high, fuck bitches. I chill. Yeah. You know, it's nothing like how I be rapping, and that that's what makes surprise people. They say every person got different sides. I'm a man of many sides. You know what I'm saying? A diamond got many. Many sides to it. You know what I'm saying? No, no metaphors included in my life, but I'm com I'm a complex individual. So when I make tracks, it's more or less focused around like the pains of the hood, or like on some. If I make a track, it might be on some D block shit. To where you know what I'm saying? And then my next track may be on some. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I look at uh, who else? Uh, Rick Ross. Just, but it, it don't be on the subject matters because that shit played out to me. You know what I'm saying? All that gun violence and all that shit like that and. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know I mean? It, it's there in battle rap and it's gonna be prevalent, but you know what I'm saying? As far as the industry is concerned, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too many niggas getting dropped off that. And if I just had to say what I had to say about it, you know what I'm saying? I just think it don't need to be all that. Niggas need to let it go. Half of them beats don't even be over your mans. You know what I mean? They don't even be your people, so. Well, you personally, how do you handle being in a, the ring with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? And that animosity that may be coming off while y'all battling, like how you keep your cool? Well, well, I, take my mind, so I, I'm, I don't even be there, man. I don't even be there. Like, when I say I don't be there, my body don't be there. It's like, I love, this, I, I, I love the rap shit so much, right, that if you know, like, who I was around, like we just said, you know what I'm heavy hitters? Yeah. I gave it up, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, I mean, I ain't want to, I ain't want to get my life away to the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. So when you do shit like that, 
you got to step back and be like, okay, this is professional. And then this over here, this is, this is the street. So even though that element is always there, niggas always have an agreement to where though, niggas is not going to take it there because niggas can lose their life and, and, and fuck up the money over here. You know, I, I know my worth, I know my potential, I know if I stop, niggas will want me to start again. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I know if I, I die, niggas will want me to live again. But the hardest thing is to motherfucking keep living and keep grinding. That's right. when you know you got some shit going. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm able to step back and just be like, look, that's some shit that's, you know, going to get a nigga incarcerated, basically. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or lose money. So, that's, that's where you come in at and you use your head with shit. Was you listening to battle rap before you jumped into a heavy? Did you have any battle rappers you was like, oh yeah, this nigga nice? Murder Mook was always dope. Yeah, Murder Mook, Mook was, like was that. always fly, man. Like he had a nice style at a young age. He had a nice uh, cadence at a young age. He had a good performance. He always had a nice flow. He always had nice raps. Like I always say in my raps, that nigga had nice raps, y'all. Loaded Lux, um, Sirius Jones, damn, Party Yardy. I mean, I'm one of them niggas where's though, you know what I'm saying? I'm 30, so I came up off the era where's though, you know, Smack was out, Cassidy was out, J Mills was out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't battling at that particular time except on the street corner, you know what I'm saying? So the reason why people see me and they be like, yo, he's seasoned. Because I didn't went to, I didn't have people come down from Baltimore and battle me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At, yeah. at, at 14, at 15, I'm going up there to battle. I'm going all around here to battle. So it's different, you know? It's just different. When Philly come down here, y'all go to, to Philly. How that? How does that go? Like, is it like a different well, nigga, environment? Well, for instance, for instance, for, for example, I, I'm from Fort Meade, right? Uh huh. So in, in the environment that I grew up, it's, it's very like diverse. You got right. people come from all around the the globe. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Coming for me because they may have, you know what I'm saying? And I met somebody from Indiana before. You know what I'm saying? So, as, as weird as it may seem, I battled a nigga from Indiana before. So, niggas out there may be like, yo, Lex is, Lex is hot based off some, something else. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something else that I may have said back in the day. So, it's just like, you know, you had, like I said, you got DC down this way, you got Baltimore down that way, you got Philly down that way. You know, people came down here you know, and they, and they respect the flow, so I made them respect it. So, I, I mean, how else can you feel about that? You know right. what I'm saying? You gotta feel good about it. So when people tune in and see you battle, what they what, what should they expect? A fucking body. That's it. Feel you like should expect that. that. That's what you expect. If I don't deliver that, then something's wrong. You know, if that, if not a body of classic. If the two don't, if the, if, if, if the, if, listen, if, it don't, if the two don't happen, it's not me. You're not listening to me. It's either a fucking body or it's a fucking classic. Hey, what's some of your favorite battles you've been in? Like, uh, who, who was some good? was my, uh, was a good one. That was my most favorite battle up until probably the Boogie one. Okay. And then as I watched the Kush one, I'm thinking Kush is, I'm thinking Kush probably, uh, that's probably my favorite battle right now. I think Kush is probably my favorite battle right now. That's out for me. Okay. But it means out, period. You mean out period or you just mean? That you did. That I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right now, Kush. Probably my favorite one right now. Classic battle. What's a classic battle to you? I like your, I like, right now, I can't really say too many classic battles right now, but y'all should go check out Your Honor versus uh, Slugger. Yeah, Your, your Honor went the fuck off. <laughs> I don't want to be biased, but Your Honor went the fuck off. Slugger did his thing too. Most definitely. Y'all got to check that out, though. For sure.